Uh, and your question is for Ruben Amaro. And the question is, what do you expect from Bobby Abreu? What is his role going to be? This is a lot, a lot more than I thought uh, would happen when, uh, when we tried to decide to bring Bobby back as uh, uh, to battle for a job and, uh, on our bench. Basically, that's what he's uh, here to try to do. Um, Bobby, uh, as, as many of you know, took the year off last year. I think he was a little humbled by that. Uh, he's one of the most prolific offensive players we've ever had in the organization. But I think, um, you know, it was tough for him to not, to not get an, an opportunity to play in the big leagues last year. And, uh, and I think it, he took it to heart. Uh, I did talk to him uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, after watching him play in Venezuela, he's swinging the bat very, very well. He's in very good shape. He's very motivated. And uh, really, his motivation was to come back and finish his career as a Philadelphia Philly. So, uh, he's going to get every opportunity to play in spring training and try to make a club. It's not a slam dunk. He hasn't been promised a spot. Uh, but I think uh, he's going to get every opportunity to try to make the club. And Rhino's going to see, Rhino, myself, and others will assess whether he can be a viable option for us off the bench. Next question is for uh, Rhino, and this is from Juan at Table 5. Where's Table 5? Juan from Table 5? Way in the back. Way in the back? Okay. Here's the question. What is the best advice Charlie Manuel has ever passed along to you? Oh, let's see. Uh, he talked to me a lot, by the way. Uh, <laughs> let's see, the best advice... Um, Wow. You know what? He talked a lot about playing baseball in Japan. Uh, let me think. Um, he talked about uh, hitting home runs. Uh, he, li he liked hitting. Uh, the best advice. Proper way to order sake or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I think the best advice, now that I think about it, he, he's... He's, he told me that uh, I'd have a chance to do this someday, and he said, he said, uh, do it your way. And uh, you know what, that's, that's pretty good advice. Uh, and uh, that shows that he had some confidence uh, that I had what it took, and uh, just to be myself. So uh, that's pretty good advice. Excellent. Excellent. What a great question. Uh, the next question is for uh, Cody Ashey, and this is from Brian. And Brian wants to know what it's like playing third base in a city that once had Mike Schmidt. Yeah. It's a lot to that question. Uh, uh, yeah, I think it's exciting. Uh, there's a rich history there. Um, you know, I, and not only playing in the, in the city that once had Mike Schmidt, but I'm also, you know, lucky enough to learn from him. Uh, my, first, my first big league camp, he was over there, you know, just eyeballing the third baseman every time uh, we did something every time we moved. He's he's there watching. So uh, he's a guy that I got to talk to a little bit last spring training, and he gave me a lot of confidence going into the season. Um, you know, he he, he's, he he believed in my abilities, and, and it helped me, you know, progress and, and keep learning, and, and you know, help be the player I am today. Great. Uh, next, uh, a guy from table 19 uh, has a question for Darren Ruff. It's a guy. Uh, what clicked in 2012 to lead to hitting 64 homers in the last two years? Wow, um, that's a good question. Uh, I, I honestly have no idea. Uh, <laughs> I didn't try to change anything fundamentally or, you know, with my swing. I think it was just, uh, you know, repetition over and over, uh, no one reading. I think he's going to be in Clearwater this year, but Frank Cacciatore is, you know, one heck of a hitting coach, and uh, he was probably the first hitting coach that made me stick with something for an extended period of time um, and work on it every single day in the cage. He knew what it took. He knew what would make me, you know, a good hitter, um, what I needed to do as a hitter to, you know, progress in my career, and, uh, you know, we stuck with it for months and months on end, and, you know, finally that last month of the season, you know, it all kind of came together for me. All right. Next up, Michael uh, for Jonathan, and uh, he wants to know, we mentioned your dad had pitched, and uh, he wants to know, what we didn't mention is that your dad once uh, was managed with uh, Charlie Manning, right? It was, he, he was on the team with Charlie. Charlie knew him. 
So have you and your dad compared the stories about playing for Charlie Van? Stories with Charlie? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I think the funniest story he told me is, um, well, uh, Charlie coached my dad in double A with Orlando Twins. Double A affiliate of, um, shoot, the Twins. Twins. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so what he, uh, the funniest story from him was, he said, if, if you think it's hard understanding him now, you should have seen him back then. <laughs> He, uh, it was, it was, that was when he was starting out as a career, so I think he didn't really have much to say. I think he had a short sin in that, uh, on that team, so it was kind of just funny hearing a few, uh, few stories and then me being able to share the stories, uh, you know, I had with Charlie. Now, did Charlie know right away? Did he remember? Or did somebody have to remind him? Or he says he does. Time. I don't know how accurate it was because some of the stories I heard from him, yeah. but, uh, as Rhino said, he likes to talk. Yeah, he does. All right, uh, next question is from Tammy uh, Lair, and this is for Ruben. And I guess it's not really a question, but certainly something you could address. She says, thank you for signing Carlos Ruiz. Hey, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was Rhino over there. Um, I'm not sure how many people know this, but Carlos might be my favorite player on the club. I'm not supposed to say that, but he, he, he's, uh, and one of the reasons why is not just because of where he ended up, but really from where he started. Uh, Panamanian, little second baseman, who we converted to, uh, to the catcher's position. He was always that second catcher moving up each level, one level at a time. Was never the prospect, was never the guy that uh, we were counting on until we got to double A in Reading and uh, there were some injuries, he got an opportunity to play and really took hold of, of uh, and made himself a, a prospect. His work uh, finally got to the big leagues, got an opportunity, um, obviously really grew as a player in the, in the, at the World Series in 2008 in the World Series. And then he started to gain the confidence and respect of his, of his peers. Um, catching is such a scarce uh, commodity He's one of the best catchers in the National League. He's so important to our staff. He's one of the most clutch hitters in, in the National League. And, uh, you know, we, we may have overpaid for him, but he was an important guy to have back. Right. We're gonna uh, wake up Jordan. Are you guys still with us back here? Uh, this question is for, uh, from Will. For Joe, is it tough to evaluate right-handed hitters playing half their games uh, at Coca-Cola Park? No, I don't think so. I mean, I, you know, we've uh, asked a scouting question. That's, How about that? No, I don't think so. I, I, I believe that um, if you like a swing, you like a swing. And, you know, obviously some parts are bigger than others, but, um, I mean, I, again, I, for me, if I like a hitter and I like the way they hit and counts and, and how they rack the things, the ballpark really isn't that big a deal. All right. You know? Yeah. All right. Great. Uh, next one is from Doug Heater. Heater. Oh, he That's cheating. And he wa has a question for Rhino, and he wants to know if you have a plant in your office in Philly. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I do. Yeah? It's not a flower, it's a plant. Though. Okay, all right. <laughs> no flowers. What kind of plant? Uh, it's about three and a half feet tall. Uh -huh. I have two plants. Yeah? Have you seen them, Ruben? <laughs> We're very green. We're very green. Red goes green, you know. It's, uh, it's been a little tradition uh, since I started managing for my, for my wife to send me a plant on, uh, on opening day. And um, in my spare time, I take care of the plant, uh, to, to, which isn't too much at all. It's a lot. It's a living. It's not a plant. It's on its own. It's on its own. But uh, they, yeah. they seem to do very well. Green thumb. Green thumb. All right. What, what, what kind of plant did you get last year? That was about four and a half feet tall. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be five and a half feet this year, right? All right, uh, next question is for uh, Ruben Amaro. It's from Greg Potter. 
And uh, Greg wants to know, in this market, what kind of salary would Sandy Koufax command? Oof. Wow. He'd probably get Kershaw's deal. Maybe a little north of that. Yeah, this is, in this day and age, the uh, obviously the free agency has become quite the commodity, but what's even more interesting, um, and affecting the game, I think, pretty considerably, is how we are treating our own players. It's becoming more and more important to keep our own players because the, the, the level of talent um, is not, uh, it's, tough to, it's tough to find talent out there in the free agent market. And you just don't know those players and how they're gonna to react to your city, to your circumstance. And that's why it was important for us to keep guys like Cole Hamels and, uh, and pay them. Uh, we got to keep our talent. We got to try to keep uh, the talent flowing. We got to keep keep the pipeline rolling with guys uh, at the end of the, like, like guys at the end of this end of this table. And last one uh, from Seth, I uh, believe, De DeBear. <laughs> right, DeBoer. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, and it's for Rhino. And his question is, what is your favorite memory from the vet while you were a cubby? I played very well with the vet, uh, but uh, I, I love to hit there, mainly because, or probably because uh, for four years, like I was talking about, uh, back then we were being groomed to be Philadelphia Phillies, and I, I dreamt for four years about playing at the vet. Well, I got to play at the vet as a visiting player, hit very well there, but uh, with two games left in the season in 1990, um, my second at bat, I hit a two-run home run for my 40th home run and my 100th RBI in that one swing uh, with two games left in the season. So I think that was a, that was a big moment. <laughs> Another big moment was being a September call-up in uh, 81 and being out on the field and being in the clubhouse and the locker room for the full month of September with Pete Rose and uh, Mike Schmidt and Manny Trio and Larry Boa and Carlton and McGraw and, and the whole outfield. It was like an all-star at each position of, of the way that I looked at it. And you talk about those guys having an influence on me as a player. That's where I came up with and learn how to respect the game of baseball because uh, they did that on a daily basis. And I just sat back and watched and listened for, the, for 30 days how the game was supposed to be played by these guys and I never forgot that. But probably the biggest highlight was Ruben was the bat boy uh, during that month of September. And that's, that's true, by the way. And he looked just like that. <laughs> Six at bats, and I remember one at bat. I need a little more rosin, a little more pine tar. But here's the man that gave it to me right here. Right. Excellent. How about a round of applause for all the guests here? We can't thank you enough for having us here. We enjoyed coming out. It's been a great time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's not before you go anywhere. What? Question for you. No, you can't end with me. Oh, you have to answer this question. All right. How often do you have to turn or mute LA's microphone during the course of the game? <laughs> Well, unfortunately, he's responsible for his own microphone, which leads to a lot of trouble. Um, he's been pretty good at, um, since, you know, since an incident here years ago at Coca-Cola Park, actually. He's much better at turning his microphone off now. <laughs> you do learn quickly in this business. Yeah. The yeah, the first time you, you let out a belch on the air, <laughs> you learn to find that mute button. Yeah. Excellent. Great job, as always. Thank you. Right, that'll be all for Scott Francis. We had three questions that unfortunately cannot be answered due to physical restraints, but Dave wanted to ask Ferris if he was to participate with Hambone as part of a relay race, which might help Hambone's chances of winning. Tom wanted to ask Fifi if she could put Hambone on a diet so he could win more. And an interested young lady wanted to know from the Philly Fanatic what his shoe size was. So, unfortunately, those can't be answered, but certainly, uh, nonetheless, worthy of reading out to you. All right, we're wrapping up here. A couple of reminders before we let you go. First of all, I know all of you know this, but 
Iron Pig's opening day is at Coca-Cola Park on Monday. It's an April 7th date, 5.05 p.m. game against the Buffalo Bisons. Put that on your Macy Kane Iron Pig's calendar. April 7th, 5.05 p.m. against the Buffalo Bisons. Of course, there's also the 222 Showcase, which is a fundraiser in Reading, an exhibition game that we play annually on Tuesday, April 1st. Mark those dates down. But the one you want to make sure you get in a good highlight. Saturday, March 1st is truly National Pig Day, and we will celebrate National Pig Day as we always do by putting individual tickets on sale at Cooper Pull Park. So don't forget about that. Saturday, March 1st, be thinking baseball by then. All right? Certainly get your tickets for those special dates before they're gone. Now, again, on behalf of the entire Iron Pig staff, Iron Pig's charities, and our three title sponsors, Air Products, Service Electric, Lehigh Valley Health Network, Thank you so much for attending the 7th Annual Iron Picks Phillies Winter Banquet. Plan on it next year, but in the meantime, go forth, be fruitful, go okay. yeah. Thanks again, we appreciate it.